Tommy Pham woke up this morning thinking he's going to play for the Memphis Redbirds, but then he gets a phone call, and good thing he answered because people rarely answer the phone these days, and he picks it up and says, hey, this is Tommy. Well, yeah, I'll start for the Cardinals tonight. He hangs up and swings the bat beautifully in this game. Team chemistry is often talked about, but rarely perfected. Hey, when you're dealing with professional athletes, selflessness doesn't always register. But when it does, like it has for the Memphis Redbirds, it pays dividends in the win column. Winning is so second nature for the Memphis Redbirds that when an opponent actually plays well against them, Memphis fans are in shock and they could not grasp how the Birds pitching would struggle like it did today against Albuquerque. To the ball game we go, it was kids day at AutoZone Park. Bottom three, Redbirds threatening, bases loaded, Paul DeYoung. Striking out, looking. Offense struggling as well for Memphis. Top four, Burt's pitching in trouble. Dominic Brown hits it to left field. That scores a run, and the game is tied at one. Same inning, they score again. This time, Daniel Castro ripping one down the right field line. Isotope scores six runs in the middle innings and win it 6-3. to three. But the play of the day belonged to this kid. Somebody give him a deal. A Pro contract, what a catch, and his friends there to celebrate. Yeah, and those Cardinals coming in really hot tonight, winning eight of their last nine games. Third inning, down 2 nothing. Dexter Fowler belting one to left field, off the wall. Colton Wong coming in to score, St. Louis within one. Later in the inning, former Memphis Redbird Tommy Pham will pop it up, but hey, sack flies are highlights too. And the Cardinals even it up at this play, and not just one sack fly, but two in one game. Pretty special stuff. The Cardinals, though, trail 6-3 to three in the eighth inning. Luke Voigt says the best dancer in the clubhouse for the Redbirds right now is Chad Huffman. I asked, why Huffman? And Voigt said, nobody can break it down like him. His freestyle moves better than anyone on the team. And I figure Chad probably wanted that a secret. Peralta said he has to be patient because the St. Louis Cardinals are doing a lot of winning right now. And when they're having so much success like they are, you don't necessarily want to make a whole lot of changes out there on the field. Speaking of that beard, how long did it take to grow that? A year or two or more? Well, right now, it's uh, I shaved before our very first game. The day of our first game, went clean shave with a crummy one blade razor, cut myself about six times. And I've just let it grow since then, you know, trying to keep it neat around the neck so I don't have too thick of a neard come in there. Is it superstitious? Is that why you have kept it and not cut it or what? That is a great question. It is uncomfortable. It stings a little when I sleep on it for too long. I don't honestly know why I still have it.